So I want to go over an oddity with the three-day clock in Majora's Mask. Uh, this thing is actually an actor, which surprised me to hear. Uh, so it does affect heat manipulation for all of the SRM things that people are trying to do. So turns out that from what I can tell, um, every time you go into a new room, um, a new clock will spawn temporarily. Um, now when you enter a new scene, it will spawn a clock for the first time and set this variable here, that's a one, it'll go from zero to one. And now anytime you go to a new room, it will spawn a new clock and it will run the init function, which is the first thing it does when it spawns. And it will load this variable and say, if this variable is not equal to zero, jump to the function here, which will kill it and then unload it completely. So instead of making this clock something that persists all the time somewhere else in memory or even on the heap like Link or something, it is spawned every room change and then checked if one exists already, <laughs> which is a very strange choice to me. So to make this easier to visualize, let's say this box is the actor heap. We've got Link in the beginning like normal. And then you're entering a new scene, so everything is being loaded from scratch. You've got all of your actors here and there. And you have the clock overlay and the three-day clock instance. Now this is the first one in the scene. That's a bad color to use. It's the first one in the scene. This is the one that will actually be running and active. And that's all well and good. Now you go to change rooms. The room variable for the actual clock is set to negative one, which means that it won't unload when you go to a new room. But since this game appears to have the clock in the actor list for every room, actor spawn will still spawn another clock somewhere on the heap. So it will spawn among all of the other actors that get loaded into the room, and everything gets filled up. Now, right away, in the same frame that it's loaded, it's going to run its init function. The init function for an actor is always what runs first. And in the overlay for the clock, this variable is set to 1, this one that I showed earlier. And when that's set to 1, that means that a clock is already active. So the same frame that it spawned, it's going to be killed and deallocated right away. So you're left with essentially a gap where this temporary clock that existed for less than a frame was now you just have this bubble in the heap where it, where it was before at first glance it seems to be this way entirely so that they can make sure that a clock is loaded at all times i feel like there's probably better ways that they could have done that but that's what it appears to be so just make sure to account for that uh when you're doing your heat manipulation stuff um the only other important thing to note is that it's not guaranteed to be right after uh, the current clock. In my save state here, I had the temporary clock above the other one, and sometimes it's below. So I'm pretty sure it's just going to spawn wherever there's enough room for it. So just be on the lookout.